Well, I'm running for a lieutenant governor, and as I travel the state, I see this energy and excitement uh, all over the state. Oh, but really, when I visit people, uh, their concerns aren't red or blue. It's about Texas, and it's about making the decisions that are going to affect our economy and our workforce. So I am uh, really listening to parents, uh, and that's why I've proposed such a strong education system, to make sure that we get our students to and through that public school system, to take this high stakes testing off the backs of our kids, and let teachers teach. I'm also calling for that Texas Promise Plan, a one-time investment that would allow us to have every qualified high school graduate to get two years of community college. Excellent. Okay. Um, as far as up here in, in the panhandle, we're, we already decided in the primaries who's going to be your opponent. Uh, what do you got to say about your opponent? Anything that you're working against on him in particular? Uh, well, um, uh, Senator Dan Patrick sits in front of me uh, on the uh, Senate floor, and he is a great radio talk show host. He is a wonderful entertainer. We just disagree on uh, many things, uh, not on the core issues of how this state can be great, but it's how we get there. Twice my opponent voted against our schools, and particularly here in the Panhandle. Y'all are at a disadvantage because of the formula systems that was adopted, were adopted in 2006. It doesn't take into account what's happening now. And that's why two weeks ago a judge said that for these schools in this area and most of the state, that the, it's not working. Dan had a chance to remedy that. He voted for the horrific budget cuts. And then last legislative session, in 2013, when I worked with Republicans, they realized that the price was too high, and we returned at least some of that money. Dan voted no against our kids again. He was the only one that voted no on a veteran entrepreneurship program. This is a program that allows veterans to have a business plan when they come back so that they can start their own businesses. When I asked him why would he do this against a veteran, he said we need to shrink government. Well, we need to remember that our honor and duty to our veterans is why we have a government in the first place. And to date, that beautiful bill that we passed has helped 1,600 veterans get a business plan. You see, Dan's all about no, 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 not taking every issue as you need it. And yes, our state is conservative, but we know the difference of a prudent investment on a frivolous expense. As a small business owner, I know that. I've been a pharmacist for 34 years. I'm a grandmother and a mother of six. I know you have to live within your means, but I also know that in good times, we invest. We need to invest here in the panhandle on water. We need to invest in higher education because this is what the students here deserve and this is what our workplace demands. And we need to make sure that we've got our roads and highways uh, that get people the goods and services to market. That's what I want to focus on.